The following thoughts on Happy Hour do not represent Cox Media Group or its sponsoring. Anything you hear may and will be used against you. Thank you. Hey, it's Riz from the Point in St. Louis. Who is this for? Ryan Hoppy. Is that that Frankenstein-looking motherfucker? Yeah, yeah, that's him. You're listening to Hoppy Hour. Why? I don't know. Are you feeling classy today? Sit down, pour a glass of wine, and listen to Hoppy Hour. You're tuned in to Hoppy Hour, an hour where Hoppy rants about something. Sit back and listen in. Hoppy Hour is on now. Hoppy Hour is on now. What up? What is happening, folks? This is Hoppy Hour. I am your host, Ryan Hoppy. And for the next hour, my goal in life is to change the way you think about things. For the next hour, I want you to listen to my podcast and go, gee, Hoppy, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have thought about it that way. If it wasn't for you, I would have been thinking about it the original way, and that way was wrong. So please, let's enjoy Hoppy Hour for all the greatness I bring. Boy, am I beginning this show humble. But first, let's let the beat drop. It's a tradition, and it's how we begin each show. So let's go. First of all, to get into contact with the show, it's not hard. Tweet at me. At Ryan Hoppy Radio. We don't have a phone line per se yet, so you can't call. And even then, it'd be weird because I wouldn't have a phone screener, so I would probably get some weird prank calls. But you can tweet at me at Ryan Hoppy Radio, or if you have more than 140 characters, email me Ryan at HoppyRadio.com. Here are some announcements. We had to reschedule the interview with Kevin Matthews because tomorrow I will be working an event for the Tampa Bay Lightning here with 102.5 The Bone. So I had to reschedule it and my interview with comedian Joe Howard. But that will be next week. Support Hoppy Hour. It's not hard. Tinyurl.com slash Hoppy Hour Decal. That is tinyurl.com slash Hoppy Hour Decal. The first 10 buyers get Hoppy Hour Decals for just the low price of two bucks. You are help supporting this badass podcast, this award-winning podcast, and small business out of Duluth, Minnesota. Also, download my app. It's now in the Android and the iPhone shop. It took a month, but now you can listen to Hoppy Radio, Hoppy Hour, anywhere in the world by searching up Hoppy Radio. I'm very happy about that. There's already six reviews. Thank you, guys. All right. Let's get into the meat of things. Let's get into this rant. So, I used to be 290 pounds, so I know how it feels to be overweight. I know how it feels when you go to the gym, you want acceptance. When you go to the gym and you're working out in front of the mirror, I know that you are doing it originally to prove the haters wrong. But once you lose the weight, the haters don't care whatsoever. So then you just keep losing the weight for yourself. But when you first begin working out, your main goal is to prove the haters wrong. And anybody who sells and anybody who says otherwise is lying. You do it because you're tired of being made fun of for being fat. And you want to look good like the rest of the jocks in high school. Or maybe you're a girl in that office And that girl at the office looks so good in the dress and you feel very self-conscious about how you look. There's always a reason why we begin working out, but we really shouldn't be doing it to prove the haters wrong. We need to do it for ourselves. And there's this problem I see whenever I go to the gym. It's people trying too hard to overcompensate for something. Maybe a small penis, maybe they're shallow, maybe they weren't accepted by their mommy or their daddy, but I don't know what it is, but people at the gym really piss me off. First of all, nobody ever needs to hear you grunt. When I do dumbbells, I go, but I don't like go, yeah, 
Yeah! There's these people that, oh my God, if you're on the treadmill and you have your Beat headphones in, I swear to God, you can hear them perfectly. They are so loud when they're doing your when they're doing their squats. It's like, listen, bro, good for you. You have the brain IQ to do some squats. You have the brain IQ to lift. Nobody cares. Like, who are you impressing? You're no different than anybody who has ever worked out ever. That's why I don't get the people who think they're so cool when they make noises when they're working out. Like, stop. Nobody cares. There's not one person who's doing their lift and goes, eh, I want to do just five sets, not 10 sets, because I want to go and just watch as Jim grunts as he works out. There's not one person that is turned on by what you're doing. There's not one person that's intrigued. There's not one person that goes, oh my God, do you see what he's doing? He's benching too much weight, but he's grunting to overcompensate. Hey, that rhymed. We've never seen this happen before. I am so sick of these dummies at the gym who have to overcompensate by making noises while they are working out. Or my favorite part is they have their friends Snapchat a video of them working out. If you have to share to the world that you work out, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Nobody cares that you got muscles, bro. Nobody cares that you're lean and man. Nobody is impressed. They might be impressed if you're humble about it and you look good at the office. By no means am I bragging because I don't want to come off that way. But I just let the results play it out. Like, I just saw a cad named Mo from the night show here at The Bone, and he said, wow, Hoppy, you're looking good. He, d- I didn't have to go, hey, uh, dude, you see, I've been lifting lately. Check this out. That's what annoys me about people who work out. They always have to brag about it. They have to do these Snapchat videos. They have to put on Facebook. And they have these collages where they have each side of their body, their front abs, their back, their arms, their legs. Nobody is impressed. Anybody that is into too much of one thing, there is something wrong with you. So to any of the gym rats, gym flow, whatever the hashtag is, you need to get a life if all you care about is working out. You need to find something else to do. Oh my God, I'm so sick of it. I'm in the locker room and you're walking by them and they look annoyed that you're in their way as they're taking the selfie in the mirror. It's this new phenomenon with social media where we feel entitled. Like we have to brag to the world that we are working out. Nobody cares. And people are going to go, Hoppy, I used to be that way. Hoppy, you used to be that way too. How dare you talk? Yes. Back in 2012, when I wanted to fit in in high school very badly, I would give people updates and have a long thing on Facebook where it's like, well, I first began at 290, and now I'm down at 282. Hairs to being at 270 by Thanksgiving, and kids are like, happy. Just let the results speak for themselves. And that's when I changed the way I thought about things. Just let it play out. Nobody is impressed. Because you'll see those people. They write those long paragraphs. Well, my wife is making me broccoli and chicken today. I'm so sick of it. But I know it's going to help out once I have the beach bod and I get rid of the dad bod. Or they try to inspire you by showing pictures of them flexing. It's like, shut up. My God. Enough of posting the food that you eat after you work out and enough of you flexing. Nobody's impressed. There's not one person that goes, wow, I've never seen that before. That's all I see on Facebook. Enough. My God. And I'm not trying to discourage somebody who's overweight who goes, but that's how I get my confidence. When I post pictures of me working out on Facebook or on Twitter, it makes me feel like I fit in. Here's the thing. At first, it seems like a really good idea. At first, it does feel good to brag because you're going to get the compliments that people feel forced to type because they don't want to leave the post by itself without any comments. 
So then they're like, oh, keep it up, Jimbo. Keep it up, Karen. You're doing a good job. But here's what happens. They then know you're working out. When you keep putting these posts up all the time, there's nothing new to it. It's not original. So then you're going to get discouraged. You're like, why isn't anybody commenting anymore? Wait, am, am I not doing it right? What's going on? So then you go, oh, no. I don't want to work out anymore. That's why I'm saying this. You're going to get discouraged. I got discouraged, and then I gained back to 20 pounds. But then I realized I need to do it for myself and because I want to look good in pictures and I want to feel good about yourself because there's nothing better than when you're in great shape and you're walking around the office and you can just feel your arms are sore. And you go, but it was worth it last night. I'm just saying. So to anybody out there, that has to brag about working out, enough of you. Just stop. Next on Happy Hour. We have so much to get into. A certain person from Jackass is going to jail for 30 days. And I will explain to you why I find that ridiculous. After this and more. Tweeted me at Ryan Hoppy Radio if you're listening live. I see that I have seven notifications in this commercial break and four notifications on Facebook. So Twitter and Facebook is blowing up. So I will check it out and read your messages after this on Hoppy Hour. Hang on. Happy Hour. Happy Hour. What's up? This is Ryan Hoppy from Hoppy Hour, and I have a very special shout out to one of the sponsors of this award-winning podcast. Nicholas Seymour from Duluth, Minnesota, is the owner of Soli's Graphics, which is a badass company that will make you decals. You can buy Hoppy Hour decals. It's not too hard. For just four bucks, you can support this award-winning podcast while supporting small business here in America. Or maybe you have a band, a company, a freelancing project, and you want to have your logo made into a nice, badass decal. Nick is down for making deals, and he is very good at negotiating. If you want to get into contact with Nick, it's not hard. Trust me. He will answer your call real quick, and he is one of the nicest guys I know. His number is 330 330- 419-0691. That is 330-419-0691. Or you can send him an email. Solis Design at gmail.com. That is Solis Design at gmail.com. And to check out Happy Hour Decals for just four bucks, go to tinyurl.com slash happy hour decal. That is tinyurl.com slash happy hour decal. And when you talk to my guy, Nick, just say that Ryan Hoppy sent you and he will give you a badass deal. Trust my word, pimps. Nick Seymour of Soli's Graphics is the best around. Fantasy Fanatics has changed its name. We're now the Ryan and Ryan Power Hour with hosts Ryan Stuppridge and Ryan Risky. Same time, Fridays, 2 to 4 p.m. on SportstownChicago.com. The Ryan and Ryan Power Hour will be transitioning away from fantasy sports talk and talking more about Chicago sports and sports in general. Make sure you tune in as we will still be doing our signature pick segments and bringing you updates and up-to-the-minute sports news. So listen in to us every Friday from 2 to 4 p.m. on SportstownChicago.com or on your mobile device using the TuneIn Radio app. Ryan Stuppridge and Ryan Risky host the Ryan and Ryan Power Hour, Fridays from 12 to 2 p.m. on SportstownChicago.com. We're saving the universe with our sports talk. Cubs, Sox, Bulls, Bears, Blackhawks, DePaul Blue Demons? Yes, it's all right here on Ryan and Ryan. If it's not impossible for you, listen to the Ryan and Ryan Power Hour every Friday from 12 to 2 p.m. on SportstownChicago.com.
Hoppy ran so hard he starts to sweat. It's basically his cardio. Hoppy Hour is on. It's time to turn Hoppy on. All right, welcome back to Hoppy Hour. Tweet to me your thoughts at Ryan Hoppy Radio. Let me know what you think about my last rant about people who have to brag about working out on social media. It was just something I had to vent about. I know it's easy radio, but I was at the gym today and it was just driving me back crap crazy. So I'm like, I have to bring it to the table. Just stop. I know you have mommy issues and you want attention from the girls. Or vice versa, and you want attention from the dudes, but you're not impressing anybody. All right. I can't even believe the next headline I'm going to read. It doesn't seem like real life. A certain badass from Jackass, hey, that rhymed, is going to jail for 30 days. I will let the headline take over for itself. Because I don't even feel like reading the article. Because it's going to get me mad. I can't believe what I'm about to play, so here you go. A crazed star from Jackass has been sentenced to 30 days in jail for a staged protest against SeaWorld. Steve-O pleaded no contest to misdemeanor charges filed last month after he scaled a crane in Hollywood. Basically, he hung from a crane and was trying to say that they need to treat the animals better at SeaWorld. I know he has to pay 10000 bucks because of all the emergency equipment they had to use and all the funds having the fire trucks come all the time that he put to waste by having people freak out about him on the crane. But listen, the fact that he's going to jail for 30 days for anything because of this, number one, he must have the worst lawyer of all time, the worst lawyer ever grace this planet. He must have that lawyer from the Simpsons. I mean, oh my God, how are you getting any jail time? But that imbecile, Caitlyn Jenner, I'm not ripping on her for being transgendered. I'm ripping on her for texting while driving and taking someone's life, but she gets away with it. OJ Simpson got away with it. George Zimmerman gets away with it. Casey Anthony killed her kid, whatever. But somebody from a reality show was trying to protest against the treatment of animals. Maybe he shouldn't have hung from the crane. But oh my God, enough of you. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I know about everything that goes on in the courtroom. But the fact that he's going to jail for 30 days is an embarrassment to this country. No wonder everyone else laughs at us. He goes to jail for 30 days for hanging on a crane, but it's okay to kill your four-year-old baby or to kill a kid in self-defense if you're George Zimmerman here in Florida. Maybe if this happened in Florida, you can do whatever the hell you want. Ridiculous. All right, back to the clip. Spokesman Frank Matelgen said the 41-year-old, whose real name is Stephen Glover, pleaded no contest Wednesday to trespassing and illegal use of fireworks. Matelgen added he received three years of... First of all, the charge of illegal fireworks is so moronic because any of these douchebags in the courtroom that gave him that charge should be charged as well. And everybody who has ever gone and bought fireworks should be charged as well. What a moronic charge. Illegal use of fireworks. It's like saying you're out past your curfew. It's something you can kind of charge or jaywalking, but illegal use of fireworks. Shut the hell up. Sit down. This happened in California. You have more important things to deal with. I'm just saying. But hey, whatever. Murders, DUIs, wife beaters, eh, whatever. Hanging from a crane. You must go to jail. Screw you. Probation and must reimburse the city nearly $14,000 for its emergency response. Steve-O was charged with creating a false emergency, vandalism, and several fireworks violations after his August 9th protest high above a construction site drew a large police and fire presence. Him having to pay it back, fine, whatever. Who cares? 
But him going to jail for 30 days for a protest? Oh, my God. Was he acting like a, and no pun intended here, a jackass in court? Was he cocky and arrogant? Why is he even going to jail for more than 30 minutes? This is comical. I mean, Lindsay Lohan can do whatever the hell she wants. And they don't go to jail for anything. Justin Bieber put people's lives on the line by getting a DUI, by speeding down a neighborhood street, by vandalism, like what like what he did. But guess what? Bieber gets away with it. This dude must have had the worst lawyer of all time. You're a celebrity. How are you not getting away with it, Steve-O? What happened, dude? Are you broke? Do you need to be a jackass again? Was this, was this a desperate plea for attention? Why are you going to jail? Come on, man. All right. Here he is on TMZ. They're talking to him in what seems like LAX or some airport. And you have to be real with him. I mean, he's taking it like a man. Like he knows he's going to have to serve 30 days in jail. So he's being a warrior about it. So here's the clip. You just got sentenced this morning to 30 yeah. days in jail. Yeah, you? I got sentenced this morning to 30 days in LA County Jail. Do you think it's harsh? Ah. Uh, Do I think it's harsh? What a riveting thing that TMZ would ask him. Do you think it's harsh that you have to go to jail? What is he going to say? No, I can't wait to spend a month of my life sitting in a cell because I did a protest. Like, what do you expect him to say? Like, he's like, uh, uh, uh. He doesn't know what to say. Of course that's a dumb question, you imbeciles. So how do you feel overall about going to jail? That's an inside reference. All right, back to the clip. I don't know. I mean, what am I going to say? I'll tell you, read you my official statement. Okay. Well, considering I've become a clean and sober dog rescuing vegan, I must say I'm ready to go to jail. I am. It's a sad day in America when he is what is good with celebrities, when he is doing more for the greater cause of beings. Like he's trying to help out animals, but you have the scumbags that are getting away with murders in the city. You have imbeciles like Bieber getting DUIs and you have celebrities acting up every day. But he goes to jail for a month because he was hanging on a crane trying to protest how they treat animals at SeaWorld. <laughs> so stupid. I feel bad for Steve-O. My God. Ridiculous. All right, back to his uh, clip on TMZ. To orcas in captivity and, like, you know, the cruelty that they're suffering. But it's nice to let people know that I haven't lost my... Very good point. They treat animals so badly at these sea world places or at the zoo. And finally, a celebrity did something about it. Yeah, you'll have Pam Anderson bitching. You'll have PETA bitching. But how can we take PETA seriously when they got mad at Obama for killing a fly during a press conference a few years ago? No one takes PETA seriously. Who cares? But when you have Steve-O, finally somebody people look up to, good or bad, trying to help out animals, you're sending him to jail for 30 days? What? He's trying to help out animals that are not being treated well at an amusement park at SeaWorld. Whatever. Send him to jail. He's quite the criminal. Get the hell out of here. And, Absolutely. You know, so, uh, what can I say? I'm a jackass. My whole, my whole crane climbing fireworks debacle really turned out to be pretty meaningful in the end, too. It's a very good point. In 2015... Someone from the show Jackass is our martyr of sorts. Someone from Jackass is who we should look up to. Oh, my God. He went from setting his balls on fire to helping out dolphins. What a progression as a person he is. He went from snorting lines of coke off of hookers' asses to trying to help out animals and doing protests. Wow, man. I'm actually impressed, dude. I just feel bad he's got to go to jail. (laughs) 
I mean, there's people that shove cops all the time. There's people that shoot people and they get away with it. But a reality show guy, someone from a show jackass, all he does is hang on the crane and do some quote-unquote vandalism. And he goes to jail. This is silly. This is comical. All right, back to the clip. I mean, if you're going to make a statement about captivity, you might as well get yourself locked up. <laughs> I like that. It's probably- <laughs> yeah, dude. It really is. That's why I told the criminal attorney, I said, please get me jail time, because I feel like that's going to make a, a better statement about captivity, and it won't uh, screw up my schedule um, as much with, like, all ongoing community service. You asked for jail time? Oh, yeah. Has I, anyone I, ever done I, that ever? You asked uh, Delta. Yeah, I said, please, because because I can get it over with quicker. So you, you know? wanted to put yourself in the place of Shamu? Yeah. I, I, like yeah. I said, that's what I told my criminal lawyer. I mean, I don't think they'd ever heard it before, not from a celebrity client anyway. I said, uh, I said, how better to punctuate a statement about captivity than to go to jail, you know? And, uh, and so, I, yeah, I specifically, explicitly begged my criminal attorney to get me jail time. Well, then he's an idiot. Why would you want to go to jail for 30 days just for an animal? Like, if I'm them, I'm like, that's a waste of space in the jail cell to have him sitting there because he was trying to help out animals. I would have been like, no, sorry, just pay probation or just pay the fine and then go through probation. I mean, this whole thing is silly. I don't know. I thought it was weird when the breaking news was, look, he's hanging from a crane. I was like, wow, it's a slow news day here in August 2015. And it's just sad that he's going to jail. Even if he asked for it or not, you don't have to give it to him. But there are people all the time that are beating up their wives. There are people all the time that are getting DUIs and putting people's lives on the line. There are people all the time in the ghettos that are shooting each other and just shooters in general. But someone from the show Jackass is going to jail, even if he asked for it. Moronic. Ow. Ow. You hear this music? It means it's time to wrap up Hoppy Hour. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate you live tweeting me. I appreciate all 51 viewers I had on Periscope. That was my climax. That's when I reached the top of the mountain. I appreciate it. I have a new feature on Periscope. I'm going to be live showing my uh, Hoppy Hour show. It's called Hoppy TV. There you go. And I'm going to save it to my phone and then upload it to YouTube so you get to watch it each and every time. So once the 24-hour cycle on Periscope ends, you don't have to go, crap, how am I going to watch Hoppy TV? It's there 24-7. Also, we have our own app now for the Android in the Google Play Shop and in the iOS shop. All you have to do is search up Hoppy Radio and you can listen anywhere in the world. You can listen to the show when it's live, and you can listen to it on demand, and when I'm live, too, you can comment and let me know what's up. Also, support Hoppy Hour by right? buying decals. Go to tinyurl.com slash hoppyhourdecal. That is tinyurl.com slash hoppyhourdecal. Brought to you by Soli's Graphics in Duluth, Minnesota, and my friend Nick Seymour, a fan of Hoppy Hour. Very soon, I will be making my own quote-unquote fan base where everybody can support the show, and it's going to be called Hoppy's Homies. And my guy, Ryan Redbeard on t- Twitter, Ryan Fletcher, he will be making me the logo. So I'm very pumped about that. Tweet me, at Ryan Hoppy Radio, Ryan at HoppyRadio.com, HoppyRadio.com, HoppysRoll.com. Hoppy TV is now on YouTube, so there you go. This has been Hoppy Hour. I am your host, Ryan Hoppy, saying peace out. Have a good night. Hoppy Hour. Hoppy Hour. 
This is an official broadcast of Hoppy Radio. For more info, check out hoppyradio.com and hoppysworld.com.